We're going to be ranking ice cream flavors. <laughs> now, there's a lot of things going on in the news right now, but we're like, you know what? Damn it, we're going to be fun and have ice cream flavors. <laughs> we, we want to be a source of escape exactly. if we can. Mm-hmm. You come here for fun, not for sad. So I've got this arranged. I don't know how I can see this. I might need to blow it up a little. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do I do that again? Said control. Nope. Sorry, professionalism. Mm-hmm. There, we go. there you go. That's, that's better. So we've got kind of with the ice cream, it's kind of taking a little inspiration. We've got uh, like it, love it, gotta mm-hmm. have it, a la Cold Stone Creamery. Yep. yep. And then on the flip side of that, have don't like it and abominable snow boogers. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to have a we're going to quick discuss this uh each flavor and then through that we'll figure out where we're going to place this so let's start off with the first one on the list which is birthday cake um for me that's a gotta have it I, I would say I would say it's a love it you know for me I think the I think birthday cake is like an upgrade on vanilla you know, you get that you get that typical kind of like vanilla esque flavor to it, that sort of sweetness, but you you have it peppered in with uh, some additional juge, if you will. So I would I would put it in love it. Okay, <clears throat> gotta have it, love it, priestess. Like it, I've like had it. so much birthday cake. It's just no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I can yeah, I can agree with Ty in that it's like it's an upgrade from vanilla. Uh, vanilla is not my preferable uh ice cream base but um when we get into kind of a split decision like this uh we'll either split the difference or let democracy win the day so we'll place this in the love it uh for the time being i gotta say though when you got the birthday cake it's it's a like you say it's an upgrade from vanilla but i think it's enough of an upgrade that it almost deserves its own category that's just the way I see it, though. What do you mean, but apart? there's a difference between a birthday cake ice cream and then ice cream cake too. So, which I kind of, I kind of like look at these as the same. But I say birthday cake is much better. And before I forget, uh, we have Amin Ra hanging out in the YouTube chat, <laughs> saying "Mugu, Mugu" to you. He's also saying, "I'll clone myself 500 times," <laughs> and then there he'll go. clone 500 more. Uh, okay, moving on, we've got Black Cherry. Um, what would you guys say? Black Cherry, uh, I'm gonna put it in, don't like it. Don't like it? Uh, why would you say don't like it? I don't, you know, like, all the Black Cherry, uh, flavors that I've ever had, um, I feel like they are, they're fine. I think I would rather have, like, cherries on top of something rather than have the entire thing you know it, it sometimes it feels like it's an inferior sherbet flavor you know okay. it's kind of going for that tang but at the end of the day i'd rather just have some sherbet man and i'll put some raspberries in the, or the uh, uh, cherries on the top of that i don't know okay so it's more of a topping than more of a flavor yeah, yeah. all right i can definitely see that i don't like it don't like it no it's just got that tart taste in my yeah. mouth. <laughs> yeah, with the with like the fruitier flavors, uh, there are some that are easy to do, and ones with like black cherry. Those can be very tricky. I feel like more, more, uh, th- more attempts than not have not turned out well. So I can agree to throwing it into don't like it. Well, I, I'm I like it, but it's just. I really like it when it's like it added as something. Like if you're gonna have something where it's um, kind of mixes in with other flavors, then I think it enhances it. So like if you guys ever go to a place called um, uh, Orange Leaf or anything similar, yep. And you add it, yeah. If you add it in and then you put like other ice cream flavors with it, I think it enhances. But by itself, it's okay. But All right. that's just my opinion. All right. And then uh, while we're on the fruitier flavors, uh, what do we say about black raspberry? Mm. 
<laughs> black raspberry and a, a like it. But like, no, I, if, some, if a bunch of people are don't like it, I'd be happy with don't like it as well. Okay. I enjoy it. It's, again, it's another one where I think if it's in like a, like an ice cream melody, it enhances it. So it's, I'll have it by itself if that's all you have, but I, I'd prefer to have it mixed in with something. Yeah, I think I would, I don't think I would eat it on its own. I would definitely add something like maybe some chocolate sauce. Mm-hmm. Most of these are good when you add stuff to them, you know? Don't like it? Nope. All right. So that's two don't like it, three don't like it? No, I, I'm, I would say I'm going to like it. You're going to like it? Yeah. Two don't like it, two... Uh, I'd say just don't put it in don't like it. That's yeah. Fine. Yeah. I think I'm with you on that. Maybe we need to have another thing like an okay <laughs> with a with a question mark. I think uh, like it is like it is sort of the okay area. Okay. Well, like it? <laughs> yeah, with, yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so we would put the all right, well so we were leaving in black raspberry and don't like it? Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this is one I had never really experienced myself. I'm hoping one of you guys can fill me in. Uh, Blue Moon. I like it. I, I, I put that right and like it. Right and like it. Yep, mm-hmm. that's what I, that's what I would do too. It's it's um, I don't know, kind of how you say that it, uh, that the birthday cake is an upgrade from vanilla. I would say this is just an upgrade from regular fruit ice cream. Yep. And okay. yeah. So. <laughs> I've never had Blue Moon. Never had Blue Moon. All right. Well, we're gonna take your fellow's words for that. Uh, we'll go ahead on swoosh this on up to Blue Moon or to like it because the only place I really see Blue player. Moon, like, I don't even see it in grocery stores. It's like you go to one of those, like, kind of like tourist towns that has an ice cream shop, and then they have like all the colors of the rainbow. And there's usually like one girl there is like, Do you want a free sample? And it's like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll take your little, um, take your little flat spoon i'll take a taste <laughs> i would say have you have you ever had the superman ice cream i yep. can't say that i have so a superman ice cream is like a lot of like a creamier fruitier flavors that are all mixed into one and this is maybe um if you're going with just blue moon it's maybe a downgrade from that for i don't know how you feel about that tie but th- that's kind of the best way i can explain yeah that. i would agree the creamy creamy fruit I would agree with that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. I do. I do know that um, Schnooks in our store over here they have Blue Moon, but it's like Blue Bunny version of Blue Moon. Blue Bunny. I'm sorry. You're good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're slowly falling apart. We need to take our meds. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here we go. Oh, here's a good one. Uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. That's a gotta have it for me. Classic. Classic. <laughs> Once we start getting into the chunkier ice creams, you get my attention. And especially when you add things to this, things like, you know, chocolate sauce or caramel sauce. But if we're saying just the ice cream itself, it's still a gotta have it. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> gotta have it. Yeah, chocolate chip cookie dough, like... Uh, Okay, we got cookies and cream coming up later. Love to do a little compare and contrast on that. Uh, but in the meantime, we have a double a chocolat. I would say love it. Yeah, love me it. too. Okay. I don't necessarily have to have it. Sometimes that's a little too much chocolate, but you know, it's still definitely awesome. So I'm going to say love it. Okay, love it. Uh, so. Sorry, my memory is a steel sieve. Uh, Ty, you said gotta have it? No, I'd say love it. Love it? Okay, love it, love it. Love it. Love it. Let's love it. I can agree that sometimes it can be a bit too much chocolate, but I love chocolate. (laughs) So double the chocolate, double the fun. Double the running around on the uh, the ceiling (laughs) during the setting of the sun. But if on some days you want to scale it back, and just do a single chocolate, where would you stick that? I would also put that on love it, I think. Mm-hmm. Also love it? 
Again, again with love it because you know when you're really craving chocolate, it hits that spot, and sometimes mm -hmm. it's too much chocolate. But like I said, just yeah, I I don't know. I'd very much put it in love it. All right. If I was a kid, I'd be like, oh, no, you got to do got to have it. It's like, no, as an adult, I've tried like a hundred different ice creams now. Yeah. <laughs> so we love it. You know what we also love? People in our chat. We've got JF Raptor fan saying, ooh, ice cream tier. Hey, Janice. So we got Janice hanging out on the Twitch side of things. And uh, here's one. Here's one that might be might draw some differing opinions cotton candy uh, put that in maybe like it maybe question mark <laughs> like it okay i like cotton candy popsicles but yeah I, I i say like it i'd say like it because it's too for me sometimes it's too much of a candy flavor and that might just depend on the people making it but it's i don't know i think ice cream and candy should be distinct and it's too much of a candy flavor at least for me uh, understood so, like it but i'll take i'll have it so when you say because of uh, there are also like other lists i was looking across they basically had like the stone cold creamery kind of topping mix-ins so mm -hmm. what's your opinion on that uh i'll ask this across the board like opinions on like having like the candy chunks mixed into your ice cream like that like are you the type that loves to go to stone cone cold stone uh, i think it i think it definitely depends on the base uh the base flavor you know, if we're talking about, like, I'm a weirdo that I love throwing, like, gummy bears, gummy worms, anything gummy <laughs> in my in, in my uh, my ice cream. Uh, but I think, you know, you need, like, a fruit flavor for that. If you're looking at, like, a chocolate or a cookie dough or a peanut butter, you know, you're going to get more savory, st or, like, <laughs> savory, more, like, <laughs> hefty things in there, you know, like, um, like, like chocolate chunks and, and uh, peanut butter chunks and, you know marshmallow or whatever so all right uh i'm, I'm just curious now because i used to do this as a kid um i would have like a vanilla base but then i would throw ovaltine on top mm. that sounds good oh it's remember good. to drink your ovaltine you already made a christmas story reference earlier so i had to do the crummy crummy commercial <laughs> son of a bitch <laughs> I, I have a cousin who absolutely hates that movie. Like, no matter what you say about it, she despises every single ass, like every frame of that movie she hates. Yeah, I can definitely see where um, some people might think it's overrated, but I like to watch it every year. I got to see it once every year, just once. And uh, Ty, I just w would probably let you know that um, there was a previous iteration of this show called ADH Geek. Uh, and is for reasons like this why we called it that. We have ADHD and we tend to not stay on topic at all. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, we're kind of in there with food. Mm -hmm. Mayhaps. All right. Now, I've actually heard um, I was talking about doing this tier list at my job and I actually heard a little bit of discourse on uh, coffee. Don't like it. Mm -mm. Don't like it. Don't like it. No. I can handle it when it's uh when it's added into something, but like if it's like the base of like a like a milkshake or something, and then you're putting chocolate stuff in it, but on itself, no, I, I don't like it. Okay. So it sounds like all right. We're definitely gonna say don't like it. Would you go as far as to say it's an abominable snow booger? Eh, no, I'd still have it if somebody handed it to me. Like okay. here's here's a cup of ice cream. What is it? Coffee. Ah, all right. All right. Okay. Gonna go ahead and do it. Don't like it. So if you're on tour with Disturbed and the lead singer hands you coffee ice cream and says, eat this or you're off the tour, you'd eat it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yep. Uh, yep. Just, uh, just need to excuse Priestess for a moment. She had to step out. Like I said, our bodies are falling apart and we need to keep them medicated. Huh. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so this is a. Uh, one thing I should mention is um, brain fart. Help. Mm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, actually, you say you've uh, you've uh, toured in Japan and that. Uh, how are how are like say the ice creams, for example? How do those stack up uh, compared to like their American counterparts? 
Uh, ice cream in Japan is, you know, at least the ones that I've had is, is pretty similar to the, the stuff that we've had over here. Um, I would say, you know, smaller portions and probably more um, focus on uh, quality of the ice cream. You know, a lot of the places that we've gone to have been sort of more boutique kind of areas. Um, I don't know if we've really hit up like a Baskin Robbins in Japan or anything like that. <laughs> but but for the most part, ice cream is ice cream is ice cream the world over, at least as far as what I've seen so far. Okay. Are there any, uh, were there any like unique flavors like outside of like the uh, chocolates, vanillas, fruity flavors? Oh, that's a good question. I, uh, you know, the one, the one thing that I did at a local festival, um, that we went to was they would combine, um, and this is almost kind of like a, like a, like a pie and ice cream sort of a thing, but they would combine these things called taiyaki with ice cream. And they were like a, a fish, fish shaped, um, like doughy treat that had uh, red bean paste in the middle. So you'd have this this hot, like freshly made taiyaki, and then they put a scoop of ice cream next to it. So I did see that, um, but in terms of weird flavors, uh, I, I none immediately jumped to mind. Yeah. Okay. No, oh, actually, you know what? I'll take that back. There was I did have a fresh matcha ice cream i don't know if that's necessarily weird because that's that's pretty normal here now but when i had it i think it was like 10 years ago when i had it and back then it was really kind of an oddity to have fresh like matcha you know mixed into your vanilla ice cream that was pretty cool i've never had it i wonder if uh because uh where uh voodoo that's priestess cool. and i live uh we have uh what's called we we have uh, we still have a working mall and in that mall is an ever expanding uh, corner store, uh -huh. and they have all sorts of uh, like uh, kind of like imported snacks. So I don't know, were like were they Japanese or Korean? Or? It was like in the mixture. Like he, I know what he's talking about. It's kind of like a breaded pastry with like the red bean stuff inside mm -hmm. of it. They actually have that in the frozen section. Hmm. It's a nice. like a pastry that, that you can warm up, and then it, you open it, and it just it has that stuff in it. Fascinating. It looks good, though. <laughs> well, uh, Ty, I got to say, I'm loving the background there and <laughs> all the stuff that you have back there. Thank you. Yeah, and it's a, it's a. I, when I built this, when when we when we bought this house, I, I I built this, ended up building this room as kind of a labor of love. I wanted to have like an arcade and a, a studio to hang out in. So I got all my music stuff here. I got my uh, got my arcade games. Uh, got all my memorabilia on the wall and all that sort of stuff. So. Yeah, so it's it's, uh, it's definitely the the room that like childhood Ty would have wanted. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it's the kind of room that adult me wants. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, yeah, yeah. Right now, um, in the apartment that we have, I'm my game room here is actually doubling as my wife's office during the day. So that's why you've got you've got computer stuff back there. That's her office, and then on this side, if I could actually turn the camera around, which I it's. Uh, bolted there right now but you can see there's just a gaming setup <laughs> it's not even a good one too it's just like a table with my stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah i've just got all sorts of clutter and occasional guest automotone oh nice <laughs> so. i don't have a game room i have a art room it's my kitchen <laughs> She is a fantastic painter. If you cool. find her on Facebook or are you on Instagram? I'm not really on Instagram much. I'm mostly on Facebook because my store is on there. All right. Uh, we'll have to get a link to your store at some point because, um, like, if you watch a previous episode or uh, just, like, catch her on Facebook, she has incredible uh, uh, paintings that she does. Awesome. I've sold two in the art show, and one of them it was called Plague of Beauty. Uh, I put a uh, plague doctor's mask on a girl's body. Plague of Beauty. Uh, mm. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can find. Sold that for like I think three hundred bucks. Cool. <clears throat> I'm doing one now. Basically, it's um, I call it Pride, Prejudice, and Pestilence. It's a zombie. <laughs> That's like sprawled out on the like a french bed sweet trying to see 
Sorry, I know it's like uh, it's like oh yeah, I can talk about. It. I want to find at least one visual, but Facebook's doing that weird thing of when you're looking for it, good luck finding it. <laughs> yeah, you go to the pictures. Uh, let's see photos, your photos. Oh, here we go. Um, That's the one I'm doing right now. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna share this one real quick. If you've ever seen Corpse Bride. That's nice. the one I'm working on. Very cool. Mm -hmm. I was going to have more detail, but I'm like, I think that's enough detail. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the ice cream. I'm already craving ice cream, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Gonna have to I don't go down have to like a dairy house or something. I got sherbet Wait. at home. We got Sonic right down the street from us, which is actually dangerously close. Oh, I miss Sonics. They all shut down near me. Oh, really? Yeah. Now, how far are you from the Rockford area? Like 20, 30 minutes, but those all closed down. Mm -hmm. Oh, all of them did? Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. So, Ty, I actually used to live in Rockford where they, uh, around the area where they live. Cool. And yeah, my wife's actually originally from there. <clears throat> So we have to go, we can't go to Sonic to get our cookies and cream. Uh, what would you say would about cookies and cream? In, I would put that one and like it. Um, like it? It's, it's, it's good. Um, it's not my favorite, I would say. All right. So definitely uh, chocolate chip cookie dough is the winner in that match. Well, oh, for sure. Easily. Okay. For me, it's a gotta have it. I, I absolutely love it, but I've always been a big fan of Oreo, and that's really what it is. It's just Oreo ice cream. I don't eat Oreos much. I've eaten too much cookies and cream candy, you know, ice cream, so it's kind of like, eh. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Like, at my house, it's usually, like, cookies and cream and then, like, like chocolate. Like, I'll do, like, a double scoop that way. So I've had too much cookies and cream to be, like, got to have it or that, but I can agree to uh, like it. I'm getting outvoted here. I'm going to love it, and everybody else is like it. <laughs> Democracy wins. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. The Walmart down the street from us actually has um, a cookie that is cookies and cream ice cream flavored cookies. And I'm like, so cookie huh. flavored cookie? <laughs> what? I don't know what you're trying to say here. <laughs> right. Crusty brand uh, imitation cookie product. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> now with real cluster and fiber foam. Good God. And I saw it. It even said Oreo on it. And I was like, Oreo flavored Oreo Oreos that are kind of Oreos. Oreoception. <laughs> What's the next one? The next one is French Vanilla. I like it. Mm-hmm. I would also say like it, you know, I'd be on the, on the higher scale of like it. Um, and you know, then, then the lower scale, I, I think it's a, it's a good middle of the road. It's good, good default one. Um, and you know, it's a little bit better than your standard, regular, normal vanilla. So, okay. So middle of the road, like it. I like it. I see it again. I like it when it's a base for something else. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Gotta like it. Uh, here's one that might cause a little more discourse. It's uh, mint chocolate chip. Gotta have it. Hundred percent. Gotta have it. Oh, gotta have it. Gotta have it. Wow. Okay, I'm the odd man out here. Yeah, I, I would say like like it at best. Uh, but yeah, uh, majority rules. We'll go. Gotta have it. I'll eat the hell out of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I would. I, I, I've got two. I've got two moods: mint chocolate chip. And cookie dough. Those are my two moods. Ooh, all right. You know. Now, like, when you can mix the two, then you're in heaven, right? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Are you gonna try that? If the opportunity ever presents itself, yes. Oh, I don't think the mix would be good. I'm not. I. I. I, mm. I, I don't know. I like. You know. I, it's 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 a weird. I feel like it's a weird mix. I'm not sure. It's a weird mix. Um. I know this is a. Uh, Getting off the uh, ice cream path a little bit, uh, but going back to a previous tier list we had done, what, what are your thoughts on like peanut butter and jelly on a burger? 
I've had good. I've had a really good peanut butter and jelly burger uh, before. Um, I am skeptical of a regular restaurant putting peanut a peanut butter and jelly burger on their menu. But if it's a restaurant that like does high end burgers and does them very well, like pays Ooh. attention to the ingredients, everything's local, all that sort of stuff. That's the one time where I'm going to be like, I will get the peanut butter and jelly burger because I know they're going to do it right. But you know, if like your local Chili's had a peanut butter and jelly burger, yeah, now screw that. I'm not oh, not yeah. even touching that. No, absolutely not. What would you consider neighbors? Uh, so we got, so yeah, what we got by us is a uh, kind of a more local, I would say kind of a restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's, um, not quite like a, it, it's, it's not, it's like a bar and grill kind of place, it's but like it's a, local. Yeah. They have like two, two areas, one in Roscoe and one in Rockford and they just have two businesses, but it's a small business, but they know it's like a grill grill bar. <laughs> got it. Got it. Okay. So yeah, just, uh. We, we actually tried it, it one day and um like we personally wound up liking it like it, i turned into that one part from spongebob where it's like i have to tell someone hey all you people <laughs> hey all you people he did he did <laughs> i can see you doing that in the middle of a restaurant like standing up on the table going like hey you people hey you people <laughs> we were actually scared like we literally i got a sandwich and we split it in half we both looked at each other we go three two one and we ate it and we're like oh my god this is actually good <laughs> <laughs> Or actually, yeah, um, I think, no, I think I had ordered the burger. You wanted a Reuben. Yes. But we wound up splitting it. But yeah, all the same. And so the manager is coming out asking who was playing Squidward's records again. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then we're like, hey, you know what might good might go well with this peanut butter and jelly burger? I don't know. What do you think about Neapolitan ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> nice way to transition that. <laughs> uh, I think, hmm. I would put Neapolitan ice cream and like it. it. It's difficult. There's there's three clear flavors here, and it depends on how you eat the ice cream. If you just go straight across, mm. I would put it in like it. But you know you have options with Neapolitan. You could eat just one flavor, and you know you might be in the mood for strawberry. You might be in the mood for chocolate. You might be in the mood for vanilla. Um, <laughs> so I mean, I think I would put it closer to the top of like it, not necessarily okay. a love it guy. Every time I think of Neapolitan, I think of a birthday party. <laughs> okay, now I got to hear that. <laughs> Why? What happened? No, it's just every year my cousin has a birthday, he always wanted Neapolitan. And I'm like, it's like, that's all I've ever known in a birthday party is Neapolitan. My cousin always wanted it. So I I would say love it. <laughs> say love yeah. it. High that, end like it. That's it. Love it. I, I gotta say, Charlie, I'm kind of surprised you don't have strawberry on here as a uh, flavor on its own. No, they, he does. Oh, okay, I, I missed that. I'm also surprised you don't have Superman on there. But uh, yeah, I it, I kind of picked this list real quick. This one had pictures and words, so that That's passed fine. the test. That's fine. Uh, Jan is but, still hanging out on Twitch saying, this is making me want to eat some ice cream. See, I told you we'd get people to crave ice cream. The ice cream industry <laughs> needs working. to pay us for this. <laughs> At least they're not screaming for ice cream, that whole thing, you know. <laughs> All right. Uh, ice cream, you scream, the police are called. Let's see, it's weird. Is it? Okay, uh, Ty, I understand uh, you got to bounce pretty soon, so let's uh, power on through the rest of these real quick. Uh, so we'll put... Let's see. So I'm kind of in the likey category as well as kind of like basic, but you get the pack, three pack. So we got, we'll put heads for love it, tails for like it. Yeah, that's fine. Guess who loves it? <laughs> put it on the tail end of love it. With ice cream, right. I'm surprised is we don't have more gotta have it or abominable. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that we just like ice cream, apparently. Mm -hmm. uh, then Orange Swirl. Mm. I would put that in the higher tier of like it. It it's, it's depends on the on the day. Okay. You know. For me, again, it's when I have it as a base for something else, it's good. Um, so I'll put it in like it. All right, like it, like it. Is it kind of like an orange sherbet kind of flavor or orange ice cream? That's I'm thinking... Kind of maybe like closer to a sherbet or like a dreamsicle. Oh, yeah, I love it. yeah. Have you, you ever like had like a creamsicle or orange creamsicle? 
All right. Um, and I'm kind of in the like it train as well. We'll put it on the high end of like it. Yep. All right. Next, we've got peanut butter. Oh, man. I got to have it. 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 All right. Got to have it. We're all in agreement oh. there. Uh, pistachio. What have we got for pistachio? Never Abominable. Had. I think so. So, um, Aki at our band is a very, a very big, um, ice cream aficionado. <laughs> and we had this one situation once where, uh, we were in a, we were on tour. It was in Pittsburgh and there was a local ice cream shop and Aki, uh, very loudly in this ice cream shop surrounded by old people uh said something to the effect of pistachio ice cream that's for like 70 80 year olds like pistachio ice cream here only old people eat that and 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 rum raisin he's like rum raisin are the two types of ice cream that like i don't know maybe you turn 65 and all of a sudden like your taste buds go away and you're like pistachio is great rum raisin's great you know so that's uh so i would put that in don't like it don't like it. I think you know what with that that story alone I, yeah. I puts us in agreement with you there. Yeah, I would say that are abominable because I hate it. All right, so we got pistachio there. What about pumpkin pie? Mm. Now, now I gotta ask: Is this more like the pie flavored ice cream, or is this more like the pumpkin spice ice cream? Because there is two different kinds, and they've got two pretty different flavors. Judging on the picture, this looks more like a pumpkin spice. Uh, if it's pumpkin spice, I would go with love it. Okay. Love it. I'm going with love it as well. Love it, love it, love it. Well, can't argue with that. It's almost the season for pumpkin spice. The crowd loves it. <laughs> you know, I may, a lot of people sit there and go like, oh, a lot of women loves pumpkin spice stuff. I'm like, I like pumpkin spice stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. It can be the basic white lady of fall. <laughs> That's fine. All right, here here's one that I've been waiting to say out loud. Rocky Road. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would I think I would put Rocky Road in either like in like a low love it. Okay. Like right on the line between love it and like it, but you know, so you know, I, I would say vote whatever direction everybody else goes. Okay. I I hate to do this, but I actually don't like it. Ooh. Don't like. Oh. All right, like pray it. tell. It's I I my, I like the chocolate ice cream with it. Um, so I mean I will have it if I if it's the only thing there. But I'm just not a big fan of like nuts uh, in the ice cream. Uh, okay. It's, I don't know if it's what it is, but I've just never really been a fan of like you know almonds and things like that. That I can have them on their own, but I just don't like them in like my chocolate bars or ice cream or things like that. So I, I go and don't like it. But again, vote the way everybody else goes. All right. Uh, Reese's? Like it. Like it. All right. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go because I love it. Borderline got to have it, but I think we'll split the difference on this one, which would we'll land it, let's say, into like it. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> up next, from chocolate to not chocolate, we've got rainbow sherbet. Got to have it. Got to have it. Have it. I uh, love it. Love it. I got to have it myself even though I don't have it very often. And then we're down to the two other staples, the other two thirds of Neapolitan, starting with strawberry. Gotta have it. Um, I put it in like low, like it. I put it in like it. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's, or even love it. Um, it's just like chocolate or just like Neapolitan. If it's the only ice cream that's there, I have it. All right. And sometimes you just get that that craving for the strawberry. So, okay. So sounds like the consensus is we we like it. And yeah, then with, with, with that rainbow sherbet that you had, my wife used to want to get sherbet because she's lactose intolerant. But then she found out that even the sherbet has milk in it. <laughs> and then last, and depending on how we feel about it, at least. The non-French variety vanilla. I I would put it under, like, I think it's a step down from French vanilla. All right. So we have French vanilla as like, so that would be don't like. I mean, and what I'm saying is, like, it's, it's, this is tough because it's not like I don't like vanilla. I think pretty much everybody's like, yeah, if you handed me vanilla ice cream, it'd be like, great, it's ice cream. It's just the standard ice cream. Um, but I do think French vanilla has a, a leg up 
So in okay. that case, I would put it maybe and don't like it with the asterisk of, but I actually do will, I like it and will eat it. Okay. Again, I, I agree with that. Like it's the standard ice cream. And if anybody puts it in front of me, I'll definitely have it. Um, I really, again, it's another one that I like it when it's a base for something else. But yeah. so yeah. I, I would say put it as a like it. All right. Uh, so yeah, we'll do this. Uh, we'll put cookies and cream towards the tail of like it. We'll have French vanilla where it is, and we'll put regular vanilla right behind it. It's non-French cousin. And that's where he'll live. All right. And we are, wow, not a single abominable snow booger amongst this whole group. <laughs> well, that there is, is fantastic. ice cream, if you want to put that one there. Yeah, uh, no. Nah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's like an ice cream flavored everything if you really want to get into it. But oh, are we going to get into like the Harry Potter beans of the ice cream world? <laughs> there you go. Do some no. do some Windex ice cream. No, thank you. No, good. <laughs> they have butter beer ice cream. That sounds good. Yeah, they know. Do that. That I'd actually try. At Universal, they have their butter beer, which they make it into a slushy or ice cream. Oh. And, uh, all right, we're getting close to the top of the hour. Ty, I want to thank you for taking the time to come hang out with us for a little bit, talk about ice cream. Of course. Uh, we really enjoyed having you on. We hope you come, ag come on again sometime soon. Yeah, thanks for having me. Hopefully you had fun. Glad yeah, I for met sure. you. Right, yeah. <laughs> no. And uh, where can we find you uh, when you're not talking about ice cream with three yeah. ADHD people? I would say, you know, for anybody watching, uh, check out lordsofthetrident.com. That's our main webpage. It's got links to, you know, everywhere we are on the internet. Or just Google Lords of the Trident. We're the first, like, 50 pages, and then things get weird. Um, so, you know, <laughs> but we're, we're on, you know, we're, we've got our website. We've got our, uh, we're, on, we're on all the, all the social medias. Um, YouTube uh, is a big one to follow us on because we drop a lot of videos. Uh, we're actually dropping a brand new music video on Monday, uh, which is uh, out for Patreon backers. And if you do like the band, uh, best way to support us, uh, again, is to jump on that Patreon. You can join at a dollar. Um, five dollars, uh, if you join at the five dollar level, you get access to the last five albums uh, we've released uh, all for free. So it's a dollar an album. Plus, we have 27 live albums uh, also available for the five dollar level. We've got 13 plus singles. We've got exclusive videos. It's it's a deal. Uh, you can essentially just jump on and download hundreds of dollars worth of you know music essentially. Um, and, but yeah, we we you know Patreon is the the biggest like economic driver of the band, and it allows us to do crazy stuff like tour Japan, go to Europe, you know, put on a giant metal festival, um, or you know, as a more concrete example of something that we've done recently um we you know we we sent a hundred thousand volts of electricity through our drummer um by electrocuting him with a giant tesla coil uh and all of that money came from the patreon so if you're on the patreon uh your five dollars helped us electrocute our drummer so thank you and <laughs> if you want to see drummer more drummers get electrocuted go to patreon.com slash lords of the trident um sign up for any amount it's it's a good time it's it's very hopping I've, I've got to up my game now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the uh, Patreon uh, content is definitely worth it, especially the albums, because you have a couple of uh, unplugged albums. Yep. And the, uh, I can't remember the exact title, but the Spanish uh, version of Death Dealer. Oh, yeah. Is, <laughs> that is like nothing else you will hear anywhere else. It is a bit, it is a bit interesting, yeah. <laughs> and then... Uh, yeah, definitely keep up because with titles like The Ballad of John Milwaukee, it'll keep you hooked. Oh, yeah. I was listening to it uh, on the way back to my house earlier today, and nice. I love it. That's the one that's coming out on Monday, so you get to see us morph into bikers. Uh, it's, it's it's a fun. We we got a um, we shot that video about a um, well, couple months ago now, and we had a local biker, uh, not not a gang. They prefer to be called a motorcycle club. Mm -hmm. yep. Let's just call them a local motorcycle club. Got together and they had a gigantic meeting with five other local motorcycle clubs. Uh, and we went on this big ride. They had they had like a stage set up for us. We shot the video. You know, over the course of the day, we morphed into bikers. It was it was very fun. It was a lot of it was a lot of fun times. Uh, a lot of alcohol. A lot of alcohol. Oh, I can but imagine. <laughs> 
Well, you can't do something like that without alcohol. Like, exactly. Let's just be right. honest. And uh, yeah, uh, once again, thank you for coming on, spending some time with us. Uh, normally, we talk about uh, video games and like movies and entertainment and that. And I would love to have you back on to talk some of that. Um, but I understand Absolutely. you have to leave soon, so whenever you got to bounce, feel free. Yeah, apologies. I, I I had to. I didn't know how long we were gonna go, so I got to jump on this other call. But it was wonderful to spend time with you guys, and I hope we can uh, do it again sometime. And uh, thank you for including me in your ice cream uh, ice cream ranking <laughs> list. I'm- Definitely. Hey, we appreciate having you. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, we'll see y'all at a, at a show sometime soon. All right. See Bye. you. Bye. Bye.